Hey, so are there alternatives to the ASI? This is actually a response video, a little bit to Dylan O'Donnell's video about uh, a, basically a product that QHY has been making for actually a long time. Now, he thought that this was something new. It's actually not something new, but, but, but let's get into it here, address a couple of things. So there's actually a lot of animosity out there in the forums against CWO uh, for the ASI Air because they, they don't like the fact that they think that CWO is making money off of open source software, things like PHP uh, 2, which is built into this thing and into the software of it. And then also like some of the drivers and so forth that are used in it. However, I, I'm going to say this, that, like, I think that the way that ZWO gets around this legally is the fact that they don't really charge you for the software in these things because all the software updates for it are free. Okay. They just charge you for the hardware. So that kind of deals with that thing. So, so let's get that out of the way, but okay. Are there alternatives to the ZWO Air? And yes, there are, there's, there's two out there. And, and what's, what's so attractive about products like these is that it just makes astronomy easy. Okay. Which Dylan Don covered that, you know, it, and they are, and, and not only do they make astronomy easy, they also are getting more powerful all the time. But anyways, the two alternatives that are out there is a product made by TopeTech, and there's also a product made by QHY. All right, now the TopeTech is almost an exact clone of one of these things, at least in the hardware. Now, th this is an ASI Air Pro, and I'm, I'm talking about the Plus. So there's, it's basically a clone of the ZWO ASI Air Plus. The QHY product that Dylan O'Donnell showed is it's, it's actually something that's been around for a long time. As a matter of fact, I think uh, five, maybe six years ago, when Dylan O'Donnell himself actually came to Neef and spoke at Neef, uh, it was the last Neef that we had before the world went crazy in 2020. And QHY was debuting and showing a new a new product and, and it was essentially, it, it was something very similar to the ASI Air. Now this right here is the original ASI Air, the first one that ZWO came out with. And I actually went to that show at Neef, committed almost completely to buying a QHY camera, okay? However, they were, they were showing this product here and of course it wasn't, I didn't understand anything about it. I didn't know anything about either the ZWO ASI Air or the QHY product. Now, QHY's product is called the Starmaster Pro. I'm actually looking at it right now. It's on AliExpress. It's been on AliExpress for a couple of years now, I think close to three years in the Pro version. Now, the, the version that they showed at Neef that I saw many years ago was the version one. It was very similar to the ASI Air in that it was just a Raspberry Pi three box that was branded with their branding and so forth, kind of just like this is. And although the QHY version, it was a little bit more polished looking in that it had a metal case and the, the ZWO one obviously was plastic. Also, the software is a little more polished and I think they were even running it on a computer at NEF at the time. But also we're, we're able to demonstrate the fact that you could run this with your phone, you could run it with your tablet and, and so forth. It would work on Android, it would work on iOS and so forth. And it was, it was kind of their answer to, get, to getting things like cross compatible with both Windows and, and Mac. You know. And now, like I said, I, I went to Neef and I was actually kind of committed to buying a QHY camera, you know, and it was actually kind of, uh, I don't know, the response that I got when I talked to the QHY guys. First off, they didn't seem to really know what they were doing. And and secondly, they, they just, they kind of made fun of me for being a Mac guy. And that was quite a bit of a turnoff. And my, my wife even said that they were jerks. <laughs> so I went to CWO and I, I bought the ZWO, you know, <laughs> so that's, that's why I never went QHY. Otherwise, I probably would have been using this product for five years now. But yeah, the Star Master, uh, it's kind of a sad story because there's there's no competition whatsoever for the ZWO ASI Air, at least it hasn't been for a long time. And yeah, they, they came out with it. It was, it was pretty 
pretty much ready to go. And then they just deserted the product. Okay, they just stopped, you know, basically exporting it outside of China. And now, now they continue to develop it and uh, there have been new versions of it. Of course, there's the Pro version that is out now, which is kind of a lot like the ASI Air Pro in that it has a proprietary logic board attached to a Raspberry Pi 4 this time and has powerable DC ports. It has three ports on the side instead of two or four like the ASI Air does. Yeah, actually they're at the end. Um, yeah, it's just a little different configuration here. Configuration. It's actually a little bit smaller than the ASI Air Pro was, but just the same, I have actually emailed QHY and, and messaged them about once a year, okay, about their, their Star Master Pro. And I said, hey guys, what the heck? Why don't you bring this to the USA again? Okay, it's not like we'd be bringing this to the USA brand new. This would be reintroducing the product. And each and every single time they responded and said, we don't have any plans to, sorry. You know, so um, that is the QHY Star Master Pro. It's dead in the water because QHY just doesn't want to do anything about it. You know, um... Why that is, is, is beyond me. I don't know if they're afraid of competition with the ZWO ASI Air or what. I mean, why would they be afraid of it? You know, if, if anything, I would say that the fact that they have not brought this to market here in the USA is one of the reasons why they're losing massive amounts of market share. So they're stupid, if you ask me, <laughs> to, you know, keep this thing from other markets. And then also... <sighs> Now, Toptec, they've started coming out with their own version, and it, the software's kind of new still. It, it kind of feels like the ASI Air did back in the day. Uh, actually, maybe back in the Plus days, it's a little bit more refined than it was in, in the Raspberry Pi 3 days. But, you know, they're still not quite available yet. Uh, I definitely want to get my hands on one of those and try it out, and I definitely will, because it will run other cameras besides CWO cameras. I think it will even run my Olympus cameras, which would be a, a big, big deal to me, obviously. And so yeah, uh, Toptec looks promising. QHY, sorry, uh, well, those guys suck. <laughs> so, so there you go, that's, that's the Star Master Pro, the alternative to the ZWO uh, ASI Air. That's, that's kind of why it has been a product that you've probably never heard of and may continue to never be able to see.